Hello, welcome back to Dimension Quest. This week I'm addressing a bit of an issue that I've experienced with Ubuntu 2204 as well as Photon OS. Now the issue may or may not happen for you. If it does, hopefully this video can help you out. But the issue at hand is the boot time for the virtual machine is over two minutes. It's like two and a half minutes, almost three minutes in some cases. So on screen here, I do have one of my Horizon desktops that has this particular issue. So I'm not going to bother logging in. I'm just going to simply do a reboot, all right? So I'll hit the power button here, power off logout, and we'll tell it to restart. And restart. Okay, so right now that little cursor is flashing, so the system is shutting down. It hasn't started the boot process yet. So let's wait until it actually starts the boot process, and then we'll take a look at how much time this takes currently. Okay, there's the VMware logo, so that means that the VM has started up. There we go. Our BIOS is starting to initialize things here. So here's where things hang. All right, I'm expecting to see the failed and the dependencies, that's fine. I'm not concerned about those little error messages there. My concern is right now, this is going to take approximately two and a half minutes. That's not ideal. Now, what seems to be happening here, I, I've done a little bit of research on, on the issue, and there's a wait process that is waiting for the network devices to all come online. Now, the timeout for that is two minutes. Go figure. So in order for us to get this system to boot a little better <laughs> and shorter amount of time, we need to update that wait service so that it is only waiting for our primary NIC, which in this case on this particular Ubuntu VM is ENS192. So once the system gets booted up, I'll go ahead and log in as my test account and I'll take a look at the files that need to be edited and we'll go from there. Okay, so the system finally booted up. That was way, way too long. So let's go ahead and get logged in here. I'm going to immediately jump into a Terminator console. Okay, so first things first, let's find out what our primary NIC name is. So if we just issue the command IP ADDR, that will list out each of our network interfaces. So we've got our loopback, we have our ENS192, and we have Docker installed, so we have the Docker zero. And we can see here that our primary NIC is indeed the INS, and we can see here the primary NIC is ENS192 because this is the network that we're working on. So let's go ahead and just make note ENS192. All right. Now the service that is waiting for that two minute timeout for all these things to come up is that system D, network D wait online service. So the easy way to modify this is to issue the following command. sudo systemctl edit systemd network D wait online service. 
So here in this little editor, it's going to show you what we have. And what we're actually looking at here is a way to override those settings. And what we want to do is we want to tell this to listen to a specific interface. And that's the interface that we determined our, is our primary NIC. Once we've determined that, we go in here and we add the following lines. Service. And we want to do exec start equals, just leave that line blank like that. And we're going to do the same thing, exec start equals. And we're going to call the service command with the interface specified. So user lib systemd, systemd network d, wait online. And since we want to wait just for a specific interface, we're going to specify that here, dash dash interface equals ENS192. Now, in some cases, this may be ETH0 or some other value. So it's important for you to determine on your system what the interface name is before you go and you make this change. So now that we've got our override set, we'll go ahead and write this file and we'll close it. And just a quick note, this override file is be being created in this folder and file name up here, etc systemd system systemd-networkd-wait-online.service.d slash override.conf. Okay, so that file did not exist before we issued this command, and it doesn't exist until we actually write out this command and save it. So we'll do a control O to write out the command, hit enter, and then control X to exit out. Now we've made that edit, but we need the system to recognize it. So we need to do a sudo systemctl daemon reload. And now we can do a really quick check to see whether or not this service starts quickly by doing a restart. So let's do that. So notice how quickly it came back to the prompt. So this is a pretty good indicator that we fixed the issue. So let's go ahead and do a sudo reboot and see how long our reboot takes this time. Now, of course, we need to wait for all the services to shut down. So we've got our blanking cursor. Remember, when that VMware logo shows up in the middle of the screen, that's when the VM is actually booting back up. OK, we're booting. Here comes those BIOS lines. And look at that. We are already getting our user interface. Boom, done. Issue is fixed. Now, the reason that I've noticed that this also happens on Photon OS is because within VMware, we do have a project called Holodeck. And part of the Holodeck process is it builds out a VM called the Holo Router, which acts as the default router for the entire Holodeck environment, which is essentially a nested VMware Cloud Foundation or VCF instance. Now that Holodeck router in the early versions, I have passed on this information to the developer of the Holo router, but it was experiencing that same two and a half minute boot time waiting for those network services to come online. So we've gotten the issue fixed. If you experience this problem and this video helps you, please let me know in the comments section below. As usual, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great week.